Hi, I'm Cindy Hauser and I've been contributing new statistical modelling to the FAME project, which is led by Josephine McHunter at ARI, with policy guidance from Simon Watson. FAME is the Fire Analysis Module for Ecological Values, and it's a new tool used for statewide fire management planning here in Victoria. FAME brings together spatial data on fire history, vegetation and animal populations to evaluate the impacts of fire on ecological values. At this event last year, the FAME team won the Forest Science Award, and the project went on to win an International Decision Analysis Practice Award from INFORMS in Seattle. An important component of FAME is predicting how species will respond to bushfires and planned burns. Different species have different preferences, and FAME helps managers to plan for a co combination of forest ages that will allow all species to thrive. In the case of birds, the default information is a set of predictions on the scale of 0 to 1 that a team of experts came up with in 2009. There's an option for fire managers to replace those values with their own if they think that they're not a good fit for the region. And of course, still and other scientists collect survey data on birds that's relevant to this prediction. Let's say that someone did a 20 minute survey in tall mixed forest that was last burned 18 years ago. They don't hear an eastern yellow robin. Does that mean that eastern yellow robins aren't here and the experts are wrong? Does it mean that the robins are here, but the people doing the bird survey are bad at finding robins? And if the survey has heard two robins call in 20 minutes, what does that mean on this scale of zero to one anyway? If we want to make the best use of all sources of information, there's more work to be done. I've been building a statistical model that will allow us to describe and combine multiple sources of evidence. And the key to combining is uncertainty. Not only do we need to feed in dot point best guesses, but we need to understand the potential variation around our observations. In the research literature, there are well-established methods for describing that variation for survey methods and also for expert elicitation, although the methods for expert elicitation weren't common back in 2009. In this example, we need to retrospectively build some uncertainty around that response curve from the experts. We also asked some new experts about the conversion factor between the 01 expert scale and the survey count scale. Throw in some standard assumptions about survey variation and we're able to build a new integrated prediction of the robin's response to fire. It's also something we can update as new data come in. In the past year, we've simply been building the proof of concept and the task ahead is to scale this up to the hundreds of species already included in FAME. When we use models like these, we're going to look less sure than before, but that's because we're carrying an honest representation of the range of possible responses. This gives us the best opportunity to plan and act in the face of an uncertain future. Thanks. <laughs>